link. <laughs> so expanding on the truth stated uh, earlier, now the Guru will throw light on the subtleties on the path of liberation. If you don't remember anything, this verse you remember, you know Moksha Mark. But you should, your bhakti should be such that you know all the verses. So in verse 99, the first of the three verses explaining the right method of liberation. So let's not take it that way. Four verses are going to be for the understanding the undisputed path of liberation. Even uh, Sthanakwasi has to agree to this. Even uh, uh, Mandir Margi Deravasi has to understand, um, agree to this. Even a Digambar has to understand this. Even a Vaishnav has to understand this. Even a Muslim, Christian, everyone, they might use different words. Holy Spirit Vaparvoi to Holy Spirit Vapro, Ruh, Ruh. E Vaparvoi to E Shabda Vapro, Brahma Vaparvoi to Brahma Shabda Vapro, Shuddhatma Vaparvoi to Shuddhatma Vapro. Your choice. Enjoy. Whichever wrapper you want to enjoy. Chocolate is this. So he's not talking, but my question was whether I should embrace Swetambar Jain or Digambar Jain. That was my confusion. So this is the clarification. I don't care whether you are Swetambar or Digambar. I don't care whether you are a Vedanti, Vaishnav, Jain, Buddhist. I just don't care. If this purpose is solved, see, Shiro Khado Shiro, who loves Shiro. Okay. And a be full ghee walo, it means the ashram Shiro. Now, full ghee walo, you don't have to chew. I'm more of a look, and you see, do under it, low oil, it slips. And it tastes happy, happy, ne pachu. You can relish it and it's just nothing. Vitrag no dharma is like Shila. So tasty, so easy, so clear. It's very clear. And we are understanding Vitrag no mark. No, no condemning any sect, any belief, any creed, nothing. Just understand the undisputed path of liberation. It can be in any wrapper. But this is the path of liberation. So here he's explaining this. The path of bondage and the path of liberation. What was the question? What is the undisputed path of? So I'm clearing path of bondage and path of liberation in this verse. जे जे कारण बंधना तेह बंधनो पंध ते कारण छेदक दशा मोक्ष पंथ भव अंत बोथ जे जे कारण विच एवर आर द कॉजेस बंधना ऑफ बॉन्डेज ते बंधनो पंथ दैट इज अ पाथ ऑफ बॉन्डेज it's so simple, you'll be confused. <laughs> Whatever causes bondage is the path of bondage. Whichever ro uh, road leads to Surat is a road to Surat. <laughs> we must be such fools that he, he had to place, he had to compose a verse like this. Te karan chedak dasa, whatever the causes of bondage are. Te karano, those causes, chedak dasa, the inner state which destroys it, is the path of liberation, moksha pant. And what is moksha pant? How will you know? Bhavant, end of embodiment, or end of the embodied condition of the soul. No more bhavs, no cycles of birth and death, end of transmigration. Understand? Whatever are the causes of bondage is the path of bondage. The state that eliminates those causes is the path of liberation. And it is the end of the cycles 
of birth and death bhav no an che je karan bandhana te bandhano panth but what you don't want bandhano you what do you want moksha you said you want to know the path of moksha sorry sorry this is the path of not moksha those causes causes when destroyed that becomes the path of liberation simple logic it's not some high scriptural knowledge of course it is but he is simply speaking a language which even i think kirtan will understand even kirtan that small boy will understand okay this is the road to to samvarni sorry samvarni jara ne chale this is the road to where um courtyard villa babu babu you know we call them babu babu you want to go to courtyard villa to so, no mom i want to go to the large event area then don't go this way okay mistake karo chu okay or is it very easy that's why you're not picking up because you people are very intelligent right so it's simple okay if you don't want to go to the courtyard villa don't take that path because the path to courtyard villa is not the path to large event area so the path which causes bondage is not the path of liberation you have to destroy the causes which lead to bondage and that exactly is the path of liberation aji nahi aji taqat nahi tali ma because you you fail to accept ke you have understood the verse ek 30 minutes bolo to khara pachi will clap but if you have understood you can clap we are on 99 tomorrow it will be 100 100 is very very easy to understand rag dvesh agnan e mukya karma gni karant so 100 number i mean anywhere i when i first studied the atma siddhi sadha at age 17 and in, i think 16 days ke 14 days i had memorized the whole thing any number i see between 1 and 142 mane gatha popat hai newspaper ma kai 100 no figure hoy ha what was that 100 me ha rag dvesh agnan television upar 99 aave ho je je karan bandhana te bandhano pan te karan che dag daksha moksha so numbers 1 to 142 was atma siddhi shastra only 143 could be 143 so 143 was the first number for me tumne aavu thase jo 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 abe koi bolse ne 108 kashay ni upshantata matra moksha bilas bhave khe dantar deya te kahe jigna 113 keval nij sabav because 13 is the most lucky number keval na ni gatha che most lucky so 13 was never imprinted in my mind as the unlucky number because 113 was 113 speaks about keval nan the ultimate omniscience so my bheja is very very different from others bheja <laughs> got it so in this verse what is param kripa devi indicating to understand the path of liberation one should understand the path of bondage and avert or destroy the causes which were causing bondage to attain liberation you understanding very clearly hum niche utri na am am chali ja jo ne no some people guide like this surat jo uthe na tamare niche utri na am chali ja jo ne hu niche utri na am chali ho jais bombay are left right to bolo am hat tamaro kevi to hu yaad rakhu ke am kidhe lu ke am kidhe lu param krupa dev makes it very clear ke a a a a aave to samjh lejo you are on the wrong path and a a a aave to you are on the right path so we will be seeing this in short
take them briefly, because it's like two chapters of Tattvat Sutra in two lines. Two chapters of Tattvat Sutra, I have to tell you in two lines. So very, very briefly you will, will be going. So what is the general rule of logic? I didn't say Jainism. I didn't say scriptures. I said general rule of logic. If a particular cause is known to create a particular effect, cause creating effect, dalma marchu nakhe, to shu thai? No, ne khabar chike ne puchhu thai? Tikku bole, haa? Tikku? Okay, tikku lage. So now we have understood that this is the cause, this is the effect. Mare dal ne tikhi banavi hoi, to what should I do? Engage in that cause. What is the cause? Ne, marchu nakhu. Ha? Am marchu joya kase to tikku nahi tai jai pa. I said engaging, not only association. Ha? Just keep marchu here and then have dal. It won't be tikku. The cause is, if this cause is there, this effect will be there. What is the cause? Daloing, nakhoing, marchu in dal. What is the effect? Tikku. Logic I'm saying, logic you understand, no? I'm not talking of Atma Siddhi Shastra. Simple logic, if a particular cause is known to create a particular effect, if you want the effect, you should in, in, engage in that cause. If you don't want the effect, you should not engage in the cause. I think I'm giving up because it's so simple, you all are not picking up only. You, you feel that I'm a nursery in a student's chair, what are you talking? Moksh Mark is as simple as this. As clear as this. Kone tikhi dal joe chhe. To marchu naak jo. And pelu aave to, pa dabba mati naakhi dewaan, pa naakhu par chhe. Kone moli dal joe chhe. To marchu nai naakhaan. Simple. So you understood? This cause gives this effect. If you want the effect, indulge in that cause, engage in the cause, involve yourself in the cause. If you don't want it, don't involve that cause. But involving in that cause and not expecting an effect is not possible. Or not involving in the cause and expecting a, an effect. I'm doing nothing for enlightenment and waiting for enlightenment. It's not going to happen. Very simple, you need to understand that you do five things, then I am going to be in Tivra Bandhan. And if I destroy these five factors or causes, then that is the path of liberation. Simple. Very, very simple. So, you exactly understood logic. This cause is known to have this effect. If you want this effect, engage yourself in, in the cause. If you don't want this effect, don't involve negatively or positively, if you want to say, engage yourself in a contrary cause. If I have to say it positively, do as much bolwan hoy, to exact opposite, chal contrary bina samjo to opposite. Right? I want this dal. Let me, let me ask the kitchen. I want my dal to be sweet, but I don't want sugar because that will increase my sugar levels. What do I do? Add the sweetener. Wonderful answer. Perfect answer. You should not put sugar, but if it's sugar-free, but you sweetener, so that's you understood. But not sugar. So I can say both ways. I did not put sugar because I didn't want my sugar levels to go high. Or I can say I put
put a sweetener so that my sugar levels don't go high and I enjoy the sweetness. But my sugar levels should not go high because sugar levels is going high is bondage. So either I don't put or I, I engage myself in such causes which will not give this effect of increasing sugar levels. That's it. Business karo hai to karo. Pan karmic influx na thau jo hai. Bas. Sweetener na kho hai to na kho. Pan sugar levels vadvi nahi jo hai. Understanding, no? Huh? Nod karta re jo. If you find it very simple, it is okay. But uh, are you understanding or not? This cause has this effect. If I want this effect, involve in this cause. If I don't want this effect, don't involve. Or if you want to say involve, the language of involve, in the opposite causes. So this effect will not come. Very simple. <coughs> Basically, I think the Guru, the Sadguru, is insisting on the disciple to track down the causes of, say, bondage or, say, of his restlessness. Okay, no, there's no sense in just hacking the branches of the tree when the roots are only rotten. Roots sadi gya And you want to do a little bit of trimming, cutting, the branches. No, you need to go to the root cause. If you have understood the mental restlessness is because of attachment, you have to work on your attachment. Don't do yoga and meditation. No. That is not going to help. You have to work on your attachment. But you don't want to do anything for your attachment, let loose, and engage yourself in several sevas, you are not on the path of liberation. So see, now the gatha is becoming tough. Huh? It was so easy. You see, this is what we do. Mara ma anger che. I will do eight hours of swadhyay, but I won't introspect my trigger points, my, you know, men, regarding anger. Nothing I'll do. I have avina in me. I have pramad in me. I will not do anything about it. And I want liberation. You're fooling yourself. So, JJ Karan Kaine, Gurudev wants you, he insists on you tracking down the causes. Because basically, if you don't go back to your causes or if you don't go back to your problems or the chains which are binding you, the prison bars, if you don't go, you are not going to progress in space of several satsangs, several sevas, several bhakti sessions. He did not say anything about activities. He is saying, what is the cause of your mental restlessness? Have you tracked down those causes? Done something, little bit also, in that direction. This is the underlying message. Before showing you the five states, this you should understand. The mind is ceaselessly caught between regrets and desires. Past and future. Past regrets, future desires. Right or wrong? and trying to work out a balance between these opposing pulls and pressures, what happens? Your mind loses the peace and stillness. Exactly, you understood? Today, you want to move this way in that attachment mood. Tomorrow, you want to be detached. Day after, you said, okay, I will be jagrat, alert. Suddenly, next day, there is a regret. Then there is a desire, pulls and pressures. In what happens in this, you lose your purity, your stillness, your peace. But you feel, I'm doing everything. 
Nityakram doing, Maun doing, Swadhyay doing, Dhyan doing. Let's go to Bapa and ask him then, why is this happening? So now, if you come to me, I'm going to recite verse 99. <laughs> I won't talk to you. JJ Karan Bandhana Te Bandhano Pan. JJ Karan Restlessness Na Te Restlessness No Mark Che. Just see whether you have not involved yourself in those causes. Just see. Anything in the world you want to accomplish, it's very, very simple. You have to avert the causes which come in the way. Correct? Simple. And one has to avert the factors which are the causes of bondage. When he's on a spiritual journey, what are those factors? The Shastra gives five factors. I'll just talk about the five factors. And when you destroy the five factors, what virtues you gain in simple one word only, not a detailed explanation, it'll come gradually. And just see on which station are you. But that's it. So the Shastras say there are five factors which are the causes of bondage. I'll be saying, you have to tell me the Gujarati word. I don't know Gujarati. So I'll be saying in English, you tell me in Gujarati. Then I'll learn from you. Then I'll say in Gujarati, you have to say in English. Okay? So game Ramile before seven, five, ten minutes I have. So five minutes I'll finish. Wrong faith. He's saying Mithyatva. First cause, wrong faith or wrong belief. Second, absence of restraint. You understand everything, but no sanyam, no restraint. What's that? Oh, virti, he's saying. First, he said mithyatva. You can learn the English words, but just listen to the Gujarati words also. First is mithyatva or wrong belief. Second is avidity or absence of restraints. Third is indolence. Pramad. Negligence, bolo, indolence, bolo, whatever. Fourth, passions. Kashai, he's saying, kashai. Passions like attachment, aversion, likes, dislikes, etc. And the last is activity of body, speech, and mind. Yog, man vachan kaya. Am I going fast? You wrote down all the five. Mithyatva, ubatayana bol. Tu paanche paanche boli le cha. Kramma. Mithyatva is wrong faith. Okay. Uh, Avirti. Avirti is absence of restraint. Uh -huh. uh, Pramad is in indolence. Uh -huh. uh, Kashai is passion of uh -huh. aversion. And uh, yoga is exercising of uh, body. Uh -huh. Activity. Mind. Activity of body. Activity of body, body mind, mind and, and speech. <laughs> These are the five factors or causes of bondage. Te karan, so these karan causes chedak, destroy. Ched means destroy. The state of the soul which destroys these causes is the path of liberation. So how many chedak dashas shibani will we have? Five, why five? Because the causes are five. And a cause is not destroy karwana che, so the virtues will be also five. Cause five, cause of bondage five. You destroy the cause, so it's, on, it's not only that the cause is destroyed, a virtue is gained, attained. So that virtue is called chedak dasha. So what was the first cause? I'm not going to go in detail. Mithyatva or wrong faith. How will you destroy this? 
by right faith. What is that right faith called? Samyak darshan. See, everywhere people you will hear, okay, mane, samyak darshan to pambu che, pambu che, because that is the first chedak dasha. That's the first milestone. So, mithyatva destroyed by samyak darshan. Wrong faith destroyed by right faith. It's too easy to make it so confused. Second was a virati or absence of restraints. So, how will you destroy this? With restraints. Virati, restraints. Jivan ma lavo, vows rupe lavo, internal self control rupe lavo in any way. So, mithyatva, samyaktva, or samkit, or samyak darshan. A virati, Virti. Pramad. What's that? Pramad. What's that? Meaning of Pramad. Indolence. So, how do you overcome Pramad? How will you destroy Pramad? A Pramad. Now he's just adding a and answering back. He's tired, it seems. Yeah, it is a Pramad. So, what is a Pramad? Consistent, constant awareness. I'm not saying sleepless. I didn't say that. I said, after waking up, be in a state of awareness. Don't worry for two hours, five hours, six hours, 16 hours, 18 hours. Sandeep, kya nathi? Ha. JF Kennedy Airport par. Amari flight runway par hoi. Ajay to pelo final turn lido na thi ya, ke jema take off tha se, he goes off to sleep. We are back on the runway at Dubai airport. He is yet sleeping. Wasted all the money, didn't eat only. Ke to saru khao na mare na plane ma to. I am not saying anything regarding that. I am saying, pachi uthya pachi ha, apne kya chhe aim nahi karto. Then I want constant, consistent awareness. I am a pure, peaceful, powerful, blissful soul. I am not talking of Dubai or New York. What it means, I have forgotten. I know what is Mithyatva Virti Pramad because we have been doing that. But. So Mithyatva, wrong faith, how will, which virtue is going to destroy it? That virtue is the Chedak Dasha, right? Chedak, the destroyer of that defiling element. So, Mithyatva, Kayu virtue will destroy Mithyatva Samyak Dasha. A virti or absence of restraint will be destroyed by virati or restraints. Pramad or indolence will be destroyed by a pramad, a pramattata, and that is constant, consistent awareness. Kashai. So kashai, ketla chhe kashai, krod man maya lo. Krod man maya lo. Pachi ava na chhe, I am not going in detail. So these are the kashai, the passions. And how will you destroy that? Which virtue will destroy that? Vitaragata, dispassion. Dispassion. And the last, yoga or the activity of manvachankaya, meaning mind, speech, and body. Man, vachan, and kaya, exercise. And how will that go? If, you are, if your vrittis are drawn within, within, ayog che, but what is ayog here? So, more and more you become introvert, body activities ochi tase, verbal activities ochi tase, mental activity ochi tase, you don't desire the less passions, so obviously no running about. Are Ratna Sada Dastajana Kayu Jovanu, Kayu Jovanu, Netflix. Now we desire Gati Jaito, that activity will also slow down, no? That will also decrease, right? So, fast, 
which are the five causes mithyatva avirti pramad kashay yo or in english wrong belief absence of restraints unawareness or indolence passions and activity of mind body and speech correct aa panch na destroyers kon che to ke right faith or samyak darshan virati or restraints apramad or constant consistent awareness passions number the dispassion or vitaragata and ayog or withdrawing within in the sense ke okay, you don't need those activities correct so these five which are the destroyers of the causes of bondage these five are called samvar in a shastriya language in the language of the scriptures it is called samvar it's difficult then go to the word given here chedak dasha what is samvar stoppage of the causes of bondage stopping the cause of bondage destroying the cause of bondage shutting the door from where the water is coming in your room shut that door you know no during the cyclone badu khabar padi gayi hai kya thi pani aave chhe windows mati aave chhe door mati aave chhe walls mati aave chhe you found out no so now keep it shut do something stop the karmic influx over je je karan bandhana these five karan ते बंद नो पन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी कीपिंग योर लाइफ एकदम अनरिस्ट्रेन फुल ऑफ पैशन फुल ऑफ वर्ल्डली एक्टिविटीज एन ऑल डोंट टेल मी देन यू विल सी द रेस्टलेसनेस विद इन यू इंक्रीजिंग कार्मिक बॉन्डेज यू डिस्ट्रॉय दोज फैक्टर्स एवर्ड देम डिस्ट्रॉय स्टॉप द कार्मिक इनफ्लक्स एंड यू सी वर्चूज विल बी गेन्ड लास्ट Thirty seconds now. Virtues will be attained, like samyak darshan, vitarakta, all these virtues. But here it is said, moksha panth bhava an, and the end of transmigration comes nearer. Bhava an, end, cessation of transmigration, cycles of birth and the death. This end. comes nearer you understand the end comes nearer virtues start increasing more and more virtues so treading the path of liberation once ends the cycle of birth and death bhav no ant thai che how by treading moksha no panth what is that je je karan bandhana che te chedu is mokshno pan let's say ji ji karan bandhna teh bandhno pand te karan chedak dasha moksh pant bhav an